evening, it's Mel Bundock here. Hope you're well, having a great day. Now, um, I promised I'd been, I was going to do the scope for a while now, and um, but I needed cooperation from one of my children to do it. So, my daughter Bonnie, here she is, has agreed to do this with me today, and. Um, I just wanted to kind of share with you a little kind of tapping script as to kind of how um, I tap with my daughter before bed and um, because a, a lot of you have asked me to do, this. do you know what this is on landscape and I find it really confusing as to where to look so apologies for if I don't appear to be looking at camera so this is Bonnie say hi hello <laughs> and um, and we tap quite a lot don't we Bonnie yeah and um, we every night she's just whispered mm -hmm. and um and particularly at bedtime because i think it's a really lovely comforting thing for children it helps <laughs> it's um hi bonnie <laughs> spell her name wrong she said it's an ie but never mind don't worry tap no not tap not tap dancing um we are going to be doing emotional freedom technique um so those of you who don't know my name is melanie bundock i'm an emotional freedom technique practitioner and, um, and basically what we do is we tap on acupressure points and as we talk and tap, we um, send calming signals to the brain and it's so wonderful with children, it really is. Um, if you're a parent or if you have any children in your life, it is just brilliant. How do, I, how do we spell it? Um, emotional freedom technique, um, is that what? Is that what you're asking? Sorry, I didn't quite get that. But um, yeah, so if you just kind of look at my website, melaniebundock.com, and um, you'll have more details about it. So what I'm going to share with you now is just, smile. <laughs> what I'm going to share with you now is um, how I would tap with my child. And, um, and yes, so it's not, um, I'm not, um, oh, I'm trying to think the word. Is this just kind of a really comfortable, <laughs> comforting kind of bedtime routine um, rather than kind of going anything kind of too deep and kind of you know anything kind of traumatic with children but it's just lovely um, to do this with children but I'm sorry you're really distracting me here so um, we're just going to kind of get going with it I think I might have to put this back onto portrait so you can see the tapping points um, better and show you exactly where I tap with Bonnie so what we're going to do is I'm going to tap on her points like this this is what I do with her every night and then um, let's just get this back up a bit and and then and just with the typical language that I would use with her. Okay, so um, if it's not bedtime at the moment, or if you haven't got a child with you, then you'll be able to catch this on replay and you'll be able to catch this on my catch account because I think this is just um, a lovely thing to do. And I'm incorporating kind of some blessings with this as well um, because it's important for your children to go loved, isn't it, Bonnie? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> loved and safe and protected. And if they know they're kind of loved and safe and protected, then they're just going to go to bed feeling so much more secure, wake up feeling secure, and just generally kind of be happier. Are you a happy girl? Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. So let's get going. So what I do is, this is Bonnie's hand, and I would start off on her karate chop point, just as I would do on my own. <laughs> She is doing this. It looks like I'm forcing her to do this. It looks like she doesn't want to be here at all. <laughs> but you do, don't you? She did say, stop it. Stop pulling faces. Right, okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, then, right. Okay. I choose to know that I am safe. I choose to know that I am safe. I choose to know that I am loved. I choose to know that I am loved. And I choose to know that I am a great girl. I choose to know that I am a great girl. And I choose to have a great night's sleep. And I choose to have a great night's sleep. Okay, let me just go through the points. I choose to have a great night's sleep. I choose to have a great night's sleep. I choose to know that I am safe. I choose to know that I am safe. I choose to know that I am loved. I choose to know that I am loved. I choose to know that all is well. I choose to know that all is well. I choose to know that I am kind. I choose to know that I am kind. A collarbone here. I choose to know that good things happen to me. I choose to know that good things happen to me. And now, I choose to know that I am a lucky girl. I choose to know that I'm a lucky girl. And I choose to have a great night's sleep tonight. And I choose to have a great night's sleep tonight. If I've got any worries. If I have any worries. 
I choose to let them all go now. I choose to let them all go now. If I'm feeling scared. If I'm feeling scared. I know that I can share it with my mum. I know that I can share it with my mum. I choose to let it all go now. I choose to let it all go now. I choose to know that I am safe. I choose to know that I am safe. I choose to have a great night's sleep. I choose to have a great night's sleep. And then, obviously, I'm not, I'm not expecting Bonnie to drift off to sleep now, but this is how I'd kind of close it down. Drifting off to sleep now. Drifting off to sleep now. I choose to have sweet dreams tonight. I do have sweet dreams tonight. I choose to know that I am safe. I choose to know that I am safe. I am loved. I am loved. And I'm drifting off to sleep now. I'm drifting off to sleep now. All is well now. All is well now. Getting ready for a great day tomorrow. Getting ready for a great day tomorrow. As I drift off to sleep now. As I drift off to sleep now. And then we say take a deep breath that way. And then we relax. Like, <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, you can go now. <laughs> so um, that's just a typical kind of. Um, um, oh. <laughs> um, Nikki said it's making her feel emotional. Do you feel emotional, Bonnie? No. No. <laughs> I'm not going um, to bed now. No, you don't have to go to bed just yet, but soon though. Yes, soon. Okay. Okay. Clearly, it's really worked. It's made her feel really sleepy. <laughs> So um, I just wanted to share that with you because a few people have asked me about tapping with children and that's just kind of the perfect introduction to no. tapping with children. Let's one sec. The TV on. Um, can you just wait one sec? I'm nearly finished. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll just finish quickly. Okay. <laughs> so that, somebody said, thank you, Bonnie. <laughs> She said, you're welcome. Um, it's a wonderful introduction to tapping for children. Um, she's still here. And it's just something to kind of just very gentle, very easy to do. And you can use your own language um, so that you know how, um, you know what your child likes and what they don't like. But just tell them that they're safe, they're protected, they're loved, all is well. Um, that's just kind of all they need to know really, all they need to hear. And um, obviously I do tap with them for lots of other things, if they're feeling worried or anxious. Football. Yeah, before a football match, we do it with my son, we do it for confidence boosting, we do it for... Um, everything. Everything, that's right, we do it for literally everything. We do it kind of to visualise, um, we do Disney. it to... Yes, we know about Disney, yeah, we tapped for Disney, didn't we? We tap on our vision boards. Um, when did I start tapping with them? Well, I've been doing this about... Um, Years? Six years, no, about six years now that I've oh. been doing, but as a practitioner, probably about four. But um, ever since they were very little, can can you remember when we first started, or is it all you've ever remembered? Mm, the first time was last year. No, it was not last year. <laughs> We've been doing it a long time. Um, so yes, but remember. we can. You can really tap on all sorts of things with children now. Ben, my son, um, he said he will do a scope with me probably tomorrow and I will talk about kind of confidence building with children. The thing is, tap with two-year-olds is absolutely fine. I would say the most important message for children is to know that I love and accept myself. So you could just literally just go through the points and just say, I love and accept myself just as I am. I'm a great girl. I'm a really good girl. I'm a clever girl. And just reinforce some really nice positive affirmations. So I would say it's never too young to start. You can even do kind of um, surrogate tapping with um, um, babies. And, and the thing is, really? if your child is kind of... Um, stressing you out or making you feel you know say if your child is crying or um and that kind of or you know having tantrums toddler tantrums anything that kind not of me. brings up no not you anything that brings up stress for you tap on yourself and your own stuff and what's coming up for you and you'll you'll find that that will then just kind of um dilute the feelings that you have that so mean? makes it less strong Okay. Not as strong. So then you can kind of come from your parenting from a peaceful place rather than a kind of stressed out kind of angry place. So um, things parenting brings up all sorts of stuff for us. Um, it brings us challenging moments. Um, so just be aware that when that arises, just tap on what's coming up for you. Give an example of a challenging moment. Give an example of a challenging moment. Yeah, I mean that. Mm, I 
can't think of one at the moment because you don't give me many, do you? No, we don't give you any. Put <laughs> in lovely pockets, so help. Oh, wonderful. I'm so glad. It's just, it's wonderful and it's so easy to use with children. It really is. And the earlier it is, the better. And the thing is, children are going to have um, upsets and disappointments. Things are going to, you know, upset them at school. <laughs> And and it's really important that your children can kind of express their emotions with you and that you can be there on hand to allow them to safely release whatever's kind of going on. Um, hopefully it's nothing too serious, but, you know, stuff is going to come up for them. You know, they are going to get sad. They are going to get upset. Things are going to happen <laughs> with um, friendships or, you know, perhaps they didn't get picked for um, something and um, and then they're disappointed you know we can tap on that disappointment why are you giving me a thumbs <laughs> down I think she's wanting to put the what's the time oh, gosh, it's 8 o'clock you're not watching TV now no yeah it's your fault okay right I'm going to have to go now because we really have got a bedtime to no, we do get not. to okay we've got a little moment here <laughs> but anyway thank you so much for joining me and um, I just wanted to kind of share that briefly with you about how I tap with my daughter and then just an in introduction of how you can kind of introduce that to the children in your life as well anyway thank